The deadliest mass shooting in Sacramento history happened in the intersection right behind me. Three men and three women were killed. Those victims have been identified. They range in age from 21 to 57 years old. At least 12 people were hospitalized. Police say multiple shooters were involved. The gunfire erupted near the corner of 10th and K Streets, which is just a few blocks away from the state capitol building. Cell phone video circulating on social media captured a fight among a large crowd on a sidewalk in the area. Gunshots can be heard as people flee. Police are still investigating how that may connect with the crimes. A stolen handgun is among the hundreds of pieces of evidence that have been found at the scene. I spoke to local residents who visited a memorial at the scene. I was really sad and shocked about what happened here at our downtown Sacramento. I'm just, just shocked. I mean, basically, they can't take the guns from everybody. They, can't, they can change the guns laws, but still, if you want a gun, you can get one. This mass shooting comes after another deadly shooting in Sacramento in late February. In that shooting, a man shot and killed his three daughters inside a church. That's renewed calls for action, including from U.S. President Joe Biden, who says Congress needs to take action on gun control. Similar calls have come from California Governor Gavin Newsom and Sacramento's mayor. And on Sunday night, the Sacramento Kings NBA basketball team played the Golden State Warriors. Both coaches called for action on gun control, including head coach Steve Kerr of the Golden State Warriors, whose own father was killed in Beirut, Lebanon, by a gunman. He says it's time for politicians to have guts and put other people before their own careers and re-election campaigns. Mark New, CGTN, Sacramento, California.